Hello everybody. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Please be sure to subscribe to... Let's try that again a little bit slower now. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. <laughs> I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Yeah, my name's Bridget, and this is what I do. Mess everything up for everybody who's new here. <laughs> there we go. That's a great introduction. This is me. <laughs> okay, what are we talking about today? This should be a fairly quick video. This is about products that I completely forgot about because I was cleaning out my drawers because, you know, I've been doing videos about cleaning stuff out and getting rid of stuff. And I discovered that there was a whole video that I forgot about in the products that I left behind when I did the products I used up in 2021 uh, and uh, another one. This is about the worst products I have gotten my hands on. When I say the worst, I mean, there's a couple of them I can't even open. Let's see. Glasses. Yeah. Okay. Now, the go-to exfoliating swipeies. I gave this a good try. I think I used a total of five of them. I wanted to, when I smelled it, um, I got this through BoxyCharm. Now, either I got a bad batch. It didn't feel bad on the skin. It just smelled so bad. And I've had kids, so I can handle bad smells. <laughs> Uh, but I, I've also heard other people say they like these, so maybe I just got a bad batch, but I can't even open it. I'm trying to... Best before December 2021, and I got this bef way before that, and that's when I was using it, way, way before that. Yeah, no, but, Okay, here's another one, uh, but I did use them all because they weren't that bad. They were bad, but not so bad that I couldn't use them because I didn't want to waste them. These are the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. And what was wrong with this was they were too rough. My skin is uber sensitive and it's old. <laughs> they were just rough, too rough. Now, this. I think this was trying to be like the other one, the, the big floral one that has the gel inside it, but this has a bar of soap in it. So moving it about and using it is very, it, like I've still got soap in here, but to get it on my skin is next to impossible because it's a bar of soap it's not gel so it's and yeah hair I got a vacuum anyway but it's a bar of soap in here so this this is the worst idea ever put gel in here not a bar of soap okay uh <laughs> This I've gotten before myself. Okay, this I this came in through BoxyCharm. And I used it and I don't like it because I can smell it from the other end of the house. And but I used it on my legs, you know, because I don't want to waste stuff that I can use even if it's a hassle. Um, I knew it was bad from before because I bought it from the shopping channel when they had had a deal going on. And um, because it smells so strong, 
I, in my head can't even wrap itself around is it doing any good or not. It probably is moisturizing, but it's just the smell. The smell is granny old house. And it's so strong, I can smell it 50 feet away. Yeah. Okay, the last one. Dr. Brandt. This hurt my eyes. Um, so I, I ended up using it on my hands, but it, it, it burned my eyes. It just, this do not age with Dr. Brandt triple peptide eye cream. It burned my eyes. It's probably a me problem. I've, as I said, I've got uber sensitive eyes. Um, my highlighter of preference is cream because powders cut my skin. They cut my skin. I went through a whole, this was over a year ago, I went through a whole rigmarole trying every single uh highlighter that I had to see which one I could use and which one I couldn't because they cut my skin. That's how sensitive and thin the skin under my eyes is. So no can do. So there we go. That's it. Short and sweet and to the point. Please leave me a comment. Have you used any of these? <laughs> <laughs> like my video and subscribe to my channel. A bientôt.